Renowned astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson recently made a revelation that rocked the astronomical community. Tyson revealed in a startling declaration that Polaris, the North Star, the celestial body that has led people for eons, has just erupted. This remarkable cosmic occurrence represents a profound change in our perception of our own place in the universe as well as in our knowledge of stellar evolution. The star that has remained a steady light in the night sky for a long time. Polaris has changed. Something horrifying is happening in the aftermath of the supernova that it underwent. For further updates, use the like and subscribe buttons before we begin. For thousands of years, explorers and travelers have relied on Polaris, which is situated in the constellation Ursa Minor around 433 light years distant. As a crucial point of navigation, because of Earth's axial tilt. It stayed stationary while the rest of the sky seemed to revolve around it. It represented consistency and direction for generations. Now, that emblem of permanence has been severely broken by news of its catastrophic explosion. Only weeks before the explosion, Tyson said, astronomical instruments started picking up anomalies in Polaris brilliance. However, no one could have predicted such a sudden and drastic change. There's more to Polaris outburst than just dramatic stargazing. One of the universe's most potent and intense phenomena is a supernova. A star like Polaris's outer layers are blasted into space by a runaway fusion reaction that occurs when its core collapses at the conclusion of its life cycle. For a moment, everything around it is eclipsed by the energy released in this explosion, which is comparable to the energy of an entire galaxy. Large volumes of light are released together with deadly radiation and extremely energetic particles, creating shock waves that reverberate across the surrounding space. The explosion of Polaris has wide-ranging and intricate ramifications. For starters, centuries of navigating tradition are upended by the removal of such a conspicuous visual reference point. Polaris remains a vital backup, a natural orientation aid for everything from ships to migrating birds even if modern systems mainly rely on GPS. Both biological and technical systems will be impacted by its abrupt departure from the sky. Polaris served as an anchoring reference for nocturnal migration for numerous species. Insects, birds, and even sea turtles may now get severely confused, which might set off a series of events in ecosystems that are far from the night sky. The event is providing a previously unheard of insight into real-time supernova observation from a scientific standpoint. Polaris was essentially in our celestial backyard, whereas many stars in far-off galaxies have gone supernova, with their light typically reaching us centuries or millennia after the event. Because of its closeness, astronomers can now investigate supernova dynamics with a level of clarity never before achievable. Now. Instruments in space and throughout the world are focusing on the explosion's leftovers to record information on radiation levels, particle emissions, light curves, and gravitational wave patterns. One of the shocking details Tyson revealed was that Polaris explosion was not symmetrical or clean. According to preliminary measurements, the supernova caused an unusual increase of neutrino emissions. Trillions of elusive particles flowed through us every second without making contact unpredictable bursts of gamma radiation, unlike any ever observed from a supernova event, followed this rise. These irregular emissions point to the development of a black hole, which is more frightening, or the formation of a rapidly revolving neutron star. Everything changes if Polaris has indeed fallen into a black hole. This would not only make it one of the nearest black holes to Earth, but the effects of its energetic and gravitational disruptions might go well beyond what is now known. While Earth would not be directly threatened by a black hole 433 light years distant, the structure of local space might be affected by its energetic outflows and interactions with the interstellar medium. It's not only a brand new celestial body, it might be a sign of more significant changes in our galaxy's surrounding area. A peculiar pulsing irregularity in the radio frequencies picked up from the area is another factor raising concerns. The messages are becoming more frequent and intense, and they have a repetitive, somewhat mechanical pattern. Some scientists aren't so quick to rule out the notion that something more exotic is at work. Even as others offer a natural explanation, like magnetar activity or oscillating gas clouds. During his statement, 
Tyson alluded to these frequencies, calling them deeply unsettling. Their increasing prevalence cannot be disregarded, regardless of whether they are natural byproducts of explosion or signs of a completely new astronomical phenomenon. Additionally, this explosion is a sobering reminder of our frailty in the cosmos. Despite intensive astronomical observation, the closing moments of the huge star Polaris, which was reaching the end of its existence, nonetheless took scientists off guard. This creates uneasy concerns about the thousands of other nearby stars that might be approaching similar outcomes. In our cosmic neighborhood, are there any other ticking stellar time bombs? Maybe other planets could transition from stable to supernova as fast as Polaris did. Furthermore, we frequently presume that the safety margin of hundreds or thousands of years may not hold. It's not just the star dying that's frightening. It's also what it might trigger by compressing neighboring gas clouds. Supernovae are known to create new stars, but their radiation may also sterilize huge regions of space. The basic structure of the local bubble may be changing as a result of Polaris explosion. Our solar system is located in a cavity in the interstellar medium. Depending on how the shock wave is absorbed and deflected by the interstellar material, it may eventually reach other star systems, possibly even our own. Cosmic rays are another possible problem. Large amounts of these high-energy particles are known to be produced by supernovas, and some of them are already being picked up by telescopes on Earth. Even though the atmosphere and magnetic field of our planet offer strong defense, prolonged or increased cosmic ray exposure can have long-term negative effects on life and technology. If a sizable stream of these particles is injected into our area of orbit by Polaris's explosion, satellites, astronauts, and even electronics on Earth may be at risk. The psychological effects of the incident are possibly the most terrifying. For thousands of years, Polaris served as a permanent point of reference in the constantly shifting sky. A cosmic anchor, it served as a comforting reminder that certain things, at least, never died. The sky will never be the same after that anchor was torn from the sky in a fierce fire. A increasing sense of existential vulnerability is present in its absence. An understanding that the same entropy and impermanence that affect everything else also affect our universe's most stable components. The emotional impact of Polaris's demise is greatly heightened by cultural and historical interpretations. It was regarded by ancient societies as the Axis Mundi, the hub of the world that everything circled around. It was a spiritual guardian keeping watch over the planet a divine compass. Its destruction might undermine yet another connection between the legendary and the cosmic, upsetting not just contemporary science, but also human culture. In addition, Tyson made a passing reference to a deeper, more hypothetical anxiety, the concern that the incident might not have been quite natural, despite the lack of conclusive evidence. Some fringe theories and increasingly concerned researchers are wondering if the peculiar structure of the explosion, pulsing signals, and aberrant radiation patterns could indicate foreign manipulation. Is it possible that it was triggered artificially? Is it possible that Polaris had interactions with an unidentified intellect or entity that we do not yet fully comprehend? The fact that such concepts are even being addressed in a meaningful way is telling in and of itself. Even while conventional science keeps a cautious distance from them, the scientific community is on the verge of making a discovery that could change humanity's position in the universe as the world watches Polaris disappear from the sky. Tyson's announcement was more than a simple alert. We would not completely understand the extent of the transformation for years to come. But it was a clear signal that something had changed, like the physical shock wave from Polaris's death. The shock wave of knowledge continues to reverberate. There will be a rush of observation and research in the upcoming months and years. To keep an eye on the growing cloud of star debris, space telescopes are already shifting their orientation. The source of the rhythmic irregularities is being triangulated by radio observatories. Particle detectors are keeping an eye out for variations that could offer more hints about the specifics of that star's last moments. Now, every scientific tool available to humanity is focused on the empty space left by the demise of a once eternal star in an attempt to find purpose. There is amazement in addition to the worry and uncertainty. The devastation of Polaris marks a beginning as well as an end, a unique chance to observe creation and annihilation at its most extreme in the cosmos. 
the demise of the star will enrich the interstellar medium, create new elements, and possibly eventually create new planets and stars. The initial response, however, is one of disquiet rather than inspiration as you stand here. Today beneath a sky that has lost its northern light, there is a visceral awareness that the universe is far more unpredictable than we let ourselves think. A rawness to the moment, a new degree of cosmic humility is required in light of that volatility, which is now evident in Polaris' abrupt death. A star we believe we understood has shocked us in its final moments despite all of our research, models, and hypotheses. That surprise can yet contain unthinkable revelations or threats that are beyond our capacity to handle. The fact that Polaris exploded isn't the only horrifying aspect, is that it has now done so. The timing seems almost planned at this point in history, when humanity is on the verge of interstellar travel, as though the universe were responding to our desire by displaying its unadulterated, uncaring might. Like a warning, Tyson's remarks reverberate. We are not observing a cosmic drama from a comfortable distance in a secure theater. We are in this stage, and we are not too distant from the fire that destroyed Polaris. Thus, Earth watches, waits, and wonders what will happen next while the sky adapts to the loss of its most recognizable sentinel. The night has lost its primordial form. A change has occurred, something enormous, ferocious, and horrifying, and it's only the beginning. Whatever it is, please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Tell us what you think about Polaris blowing up in the comments section below. Do you believe Earth will be impacted? We would want to speak with you. I appreciate you viewing and I hope to see you again soon.